Amidst the backdrop of St. Lucia's rapid development, a powerful new initiative is quietly reshaping the island's future. Senior Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Ports, Transport, Physical Development and Urban Renewal, Honorable Stevenson King, recently shed light on the Renewable Energy Sector Development Project, a game-changing effort aimed at reducing St. Lucia's dependency on costly imported fossil fuels. I want to mention and speak to the issue of geothermal, the geothermal bill, what is, what is normally referred to as the Renewable Energy Sector Development Project. Mr. Speaker, that project is well on the way. And it is St. Lucia's long-term energy vision, which was approved in the National Energy Transition Strategy, which aims to reduce dependence on imported fossil fuels. For some, time, for some time now, Mr. Speaker, the government has been working, and it started way in about 2012, thereabout, has been working on the opportunities that are available by moving in the direction of renewable energy. King noted that since as far back as 2012, successive administrations have been steering the island towards a more sustainable energy future. This, Mr. Speaker, is being attempted mainly to see how we can improve on our services here in this country and to impact positively on our domestic sector, our people who are for years claiming and of course with evidence that the cost of electricity is too high. Our manufacturers and businesses, businesses the tourism sector, who are themselves indicating that the cost of electricity is affecting production. King further highlighted that for too long, the cries have come not just from the average solution, but also from our manufacturers and business community, all echoing the same sentiment. Electricity is simply too expensive. So what we are doing, Mr. Speaker, with a loan from the World Bank, it is a grant as we speak, but once we are able to successfully discover full potential of the supply of electricity to attract an investor, we will be able to provide an opportunity for at least as, um, participating in a mix that will attempt to bring the cost of electricity down. With the renewable energy sector development project advancing steadily, King assured citizens that the finish line promises more than just cleaner energy. Once completed, St. Lucians can finally expect a tangible reduction in electricity costs, a move that could transform the economic landscape for households and industries alike. In the face of global energy challenges, St. Lucia's commitment to renewable energy shines as both a bold economic strategy and a symbol of national resilience. For Choice News Now, I am Kishana Smith.